Good morning, everyone. Uh, welcome to the Starseed Dragon. This is our daily perspective, and um, I only pulled from three decks the Good Tarot, the Dragon Tarot by Nigel Suckling, and the Wild Unknown Animal Spirit um, Oracle. Because the Wild, as you can tell, the Wild Unknown Animal Spirit Guidebook or Oracle um, really wanted to say something today. So we are going to um, get right in it. The first one was Octopus. And let's see, that is a fire. Or no, it's a water. It's a water. It's a water. Let's see what the book has to say about octopus. Find octopus. Octopus. Okay. Let's see. So that's the octopus. And it says, reaching, yearning, lacking boundaries and direction. The octopus signifies a wonderfully perceptive mind paired with a lack of healthy boundaries. Unfortunately, this results in well-intended but messy relationships. The octopus entwines itself into other people's business and shares their own without restraint. They believe that's uh, what it means to be close. If you notice after spending time with someone that you feel drained or uneasy, the essence of octopus is at play. Begin to establish healthy boundaries. Be patient and firm. It may be a very old habit to change. Hmm. When in balance, interested, engaged, intelligent. When out of balance, needy, clingy, lacks courage. To bring into balance, space to oneself, talk therapy. Nice. And then we have the spirit, spirit. So that's golden egg and the spirit um, section. Spirit cards have two pages. Golden egg. Okay, golden egg. Let's see, there we go, okay. Sorry for the glare. Golden egg. Uh, message at the center of the heart, the unstruck sound. Within the golden eggs, egg lives a precious sound. Deep within that sound resides a message. The sound cannot be heard, nor the message discerned, until we retreat from the noise of modern day life. The magical essence of the golden egg needs warmth, quiet, and time to unfold. No rushing, pushing, or grasping. Find a place of deep and restful ease, perhaps through yoga nidra or meditation. If you do not yet have a meditation practice, take time for introspection or contemplation. When the mind begins to settle and the breath is calm, ask the question that weighs heaviest on your heart, staying open to any response you hear. Engaging with the energy of the golden egg is an advanced practice. It requires becoming intimate with our very essence and comfortable with vulnerability. When a feeling of tenderness or gratitude arises from deep within you, know that you are well on your way. Um, your chest may swell like you are seeing an old friend that's been away for a long, long time. Listen to the message they've been waiting to tell you. The golden egg and the fourth chakra. The subtle essence of the golden egg is nestled deep within the heart center at the fourth chakra. 
this chakra called Anahata is the home of the self or soul. By bringing the mind into this center, we discover a portal to the most intimate and luminous space. It is said our inner guide sits there in deep meditation waiting for us. Anahata translates as the unstruck sound. Wow, that's pretty cool. Nice message. Okay, so then we go to the camel. The camel is fire. Yes, fire. Fire. Where are you, camel? There you are, camel. Okay. Let me bring the card up for us. Pretty, pretty. I love that blue moon. Resourceful, independent, knows oneself. The camel can handle absolutely anything as it carries a wealth of nourishment within. This wondrous creature is self-reliant and handles challenge with ease. Even in the face of excess heat, judgment or anger, the camel uh, searches inside for the cool elixir of water to calm the situation. The, ca the camel represents the ultimate form of bringing opposites into balance, fire and water, <clears throat> and being responsible for one's own reactions. The camel is a wonderful traveler and is especially fond of trips to faraway lands. Pretty. When in balance, calm, content, sparkle in eye. When out of balance, dehydrated, lacks vitality. To bring into balance, a pilgrimage. Nice. And then the next one is dragonfly. And I believe that, <clears throat> that is an air, air sign. Okay, dragonfly. Where are you? Oh, mighty dragonfly. There you are. Okay. Look how pretty hens is. Okay, dragonfly, master of light, illusion, and the mind. The dragonfly is an ancient and ethereal creature that awakens a sense of wonder in all. The dragonfly is a symbol of the mind as it is always moving, shifting, shimmering, and changing. When the dragonfly card appears, it's worth considering the quality of your mind and perception. Are they restless or still? Dreamlike or crystal clear? The situation at hand may be different than appears at first glance. The dragonfly reminds us to calm the mind so the light of wisdom can shine through. When in balance, sees clearly, joyful, magical. When out of balance, cannot concentrate, busy mind. To bring into balance, focus on the breath. Good message. Very good message. Okay, we're going to go on over to uh, the good tarot. And we got the moon, which is number 18. I really like the messages in the good tarot. They're very different from any other uh, deck that I've seen so far. Look how pretty that is. The moon, illusion. I may not see the workings of spirit in the invisible realms, but I know there is great activity behind the scenes. It's important to trust the mystery and remember that the material realm is an illusion. Current conditions are not necessarily a reflection of the truth of what's really going on in the present. Great opportunities lie in the shadows, awaiting the perfect time for illumination. 
That's a beautiful message. I like that. Okay, next up is the Dragon Tarot by Nigel Suckling. And we got two cards today. First one is Three of Pentacles. Right here. Pretty card. Three of Pentacles. A very promising outlook for new ventures is forecast which calls for the exercise of all your best talents. Creativity flourishes in this situation, so bring out the artist or craftsman in you and do your best. You have a chance to prove your mastery to the world and reap the rewards. <clears throat> Integrity is everything. Nice. And then the next one we got is the lovers. Lovers, lovers, uh, six. Okay, the lovers. We'll bring that close up. Try to avoid the glare. Okay, the lovers, decision, devotion, love, infatuation. The young couple joining hands within the dragon's embrace are entering the adventure of a shared life, buoyed by the optimism of youth and within the embrace of high wisdom. There may be troubles ahead, but for now the pair takes simple joy in each other's company, confident that together they will be a match for anything that comes. The card suggests a happy union in either the private or work spheres. Generally, this card represents love or friendship on the worldly plane, marking a kindling or rekindling of affection after troubles have been overcome. A major commitment could seriously affect the course of your life, and, uh, and the climate is right for it to be a lasting and fruitful union. Complete honesty and trust are all that are needed to make the union work. Beautiful message. I like that dragon too. Nice. What great messages for today. I hope that one or some or all of these sang to your heart in one way or another and you take the messages that we discover today into your day and make it the best day ever. And I will see you tomorrow. Have a great day.